Hi everyone. Now let's welcome the team from Flow, a mobile app that helps users easily find clean water sources using Google Maps. Flow was built with Firebase, Flutter, Google Cloud Platform, and Google Maps Platform. Welcome the creators, Aluze, Chi, Metembe, and Nuikwe from University of Bermenda in Cameroon. Due to the uncertainty of knowing if a water source is flowing, my team and I decided to come up with a mobile app called Flow. Flow is a community app built with Flutter which helps students easily locate the water sources around them. The application displays water sources around a user's location using Google Maps along with a brief description and the approximate distance. There is also a Get Directions feature provided by the Google Directions API that helps a user locate a water source even if they do not know the location. On the map, the green points indicate locations with available water supply while the red indicates otherwise. Users can save their favorite water sources using the like button and delete when needed. All this information is stored in a Firebase backend and made available to the public through the app. The aim of the application is to save the time spent by users randomly searching for water. Hi, hi again, Todd. Hello. Hi, Hello. Good to see you all. Awesome. So I'll let Todd introduce himself and then he has a couple questions for you. All right. Well, hi, everybody. I'm Todd Kerpelman. I am a uh, developer relations engineer on the Firebase team, um, at which I know you used a little bit for Flow. So I appreciate that. Um, so what I, what I really like about Flow is I feel like um, you've kind of really taken this challenge to heart. Um, you know, this is obviously access to clean water is very important. And I feel like you're really addressing um, a critical a critical need in people's lives. Um, but I want to hear a little from you, sort of the the story behind um, this app. What made you sort of decide to build it in, in the first place? OK, so Flow came as a result of the water shortage um, in our community. So in our community, Due to this water shortage, water supply is actually being cut off from the homes of um, students. So, due to this cut of water supply, the water is now being rationed such that um, they could channel water supply to this area at a particular time. Then, after they cut off the water supply and channel it to another area, and this um, rationing is kind of at random, so people do not know when exactly water supply is available in their homes. And also in our community, there are public areas where people can go get water from. But this rationing also affects the public areas where they could go get the water from. So students do not really know when exactly they could actually, like students do not know where water is located because, because they don't know whether even if they go to that area, there will actually be water supply in that area. So this now forces them now to move around with buckets looking for water. So think about this as a student. You'll probably be worried. You can wake up in the morning and you will want to go to school, but now you are worried about moving about looking for water instead of going to school. So flow comes in now to save the time spent randomly searching for water because there are two problems here. Firstly, the student might not know where to get water from. And secondly, they don't know that they don't know whether they will find water where they are going to since the rationing is kind of happening at random. And on average, it takes about 30 minutes for a student to find um, a water source. But with the flow application, it, it, it saves, it limits the time now to about one minute. It takes less than one, one minute for a student to actually find water. So flow comes in to save the water spent randomly searching for water and also helps students searching, search for water. Thank you. Thank you. So, wow. So basically you don't have to, people don't have to guess anymore which community water supplies are going to have water available, which aren't, they'll be able to look at the app, they'll be able to see it, and they'll be able to make updates as the status changes. Yeah. That's great. Um, I, I want to hear a little more about sort of the um, technology behind it, particularly the sort of the, the geo queries. Um, how are you sort of performing these queries as to um, sort of what water sources are available in your area? And is this something that would be able to scale to sort of large numbers of users? Okay. Um, okay. 
<laughs> Continue. Okay, so there are about 48 universities nationwide here in Cameroon, and most of these universities, students found in those universities face the same problem that we face here. And so we plan on establishing subgroups in each of these universities so that they could help us gather data and we could upload that data to our fire store, which is going to interact with our Google Maps and indicate all the points. The data which is being gathered are uh, it's actually the geo points, the coordinates of each of the water sources. That's great. So basically, yeah. you're you're grouping by university. Yes, yes. Uh, that's well, right. By university. And uh, also, right now, our querying process is very simple. We just query the entire database from Cloud Firestore. And that's because the points don't just hold the, the coordinates, they also hold information about the area, so such as a description, the ID, whether it is flowing or not, and all of that stuff. So since we're in a relatively small area now, querying the entire database and running the app processes such as distance calculations and getting the directions, it's not, it's not a tedious process, but for but when we scale up, we'll have to, because we cannot query an ent the entire database for locations that are not remotely close to you. Mm -hmm. So we'll probably set up like sub databases where we can, based on your current location, query the appropriate database for you. And we run all the tasks with using the Google Maps API, the directions API, and the Flutter location package. That sounds like a good plan. Do you have any other future plans for this app? Um, yes, we do. Oh. So right now, apart from just expanding, we want to make everybody increase certainty. So we, are, we would implement a feature where you can like vote or say that this source is flowing after you have visited so that it can help others know whether this place is flowing or not. So, to make the app up to date. And we're also working on features such as a feature that can calculate all the distances and suggest the tab that is flowing and is closest to you automatically without you having to stress about it. That sounds great. That sounds like Thank that you. sounds like yeah. a really, yeah, could be a really useful feature. Um, Erica, do we have yeah. questions from the audience? Yeah, I think um, we, we might not have time actually, oh. but, um, but yeah, that's okay. Like, Definitely take a look at the chat and um, and ask us. Well, actually, we have the question here. So maybe real quick, if you have a quick response to how the water is validated and what parameters were used. So there are water sources back here in Bambili that have higher probabilities of flowing as compared to others. So since we're actually unable to get hardware like sensors that will give us 100% accuracy, we're able now to get the probability that the water is flowing in this particular location. Because there are places back in Bambi where we have constant water and there are places where we, we do not have constant water. But people are not aware of those places where there is constant water or not. Right. Well, thanks so much. It was great learning more about your project. Thank you, Todd. Any final thoughts, Todd? Um, I wish you the best of luck. This is, like I said, I think this is a really um, good project in terms of sort of addressing, really um, looking at sort of the goals of uh, this entire, you know, this entire project and um, really kind of addressing a need that's out there. So I appreciate all the work you're doing. Thank you so much. Yeah, thanks so much. And, and next up, we do thank have you. trivia. So I hope everyone sticks around for trivia. Um, but thank you so much, Team Flow and Todd. Thanks, everyone. Bye. Thanks, Erica. See you.